Hello everyone, welcome to lecture on design of horse elements. Myself Dinesh Kumar, Assistant Professor of Civil Engineering, Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology, Coimbatore. In this video, we are going to design a beam by using working stress method. The cross section of an RCC beam of rectangular section is to be designed to resist a bending moment of 65 kilonewton meter, assuming the width of the beam as a half the effective depth. We need to determine the dimension of the beam and as well as the area for tension reinforcement for balanced dissection. The given grade of concrete is M20 and grade of steel is Fe415 HYST boss. So these are the given data. The moment value is 65 kN meter and B breadth of the beam is of the effective depth of the beam. Then uh, here uh, the effective depth of the beam is denoted by small d. Okay. So B is equal to of the effective depth. So B is equal to D divided by 2. Given grade of concrete is M20 and grade of steel is Fe415. We need to find the dimension and as well as the area of tension reinforcement. First we need to find the permissible stresses. That is sigma suffix CBC and sigma suffix AST. Here sigma suffix CBC is permissible stress in concrete and sigma suffix ST is permissible stress in steel reinforcement. These two values are available in table 21 and 22 of IS456-2000. This is table 21 of IS456-2000. As per table 21, our given grade of concrete is M20. For M20 grade of concrete, the permissible stress in concrete is 7 Newton per mm square. Then next, we need to find the value of permissible stress in steel reinforcement. This is table number 22 of IS456-2000. From this table, we need to take the value of sigma ST for Fe415 grade of steel. So from this table, sigma suffix ST value for tension reinforcement up to 20 mm or over 20 mm. The sigma suffix ST value is 230 Newton per mm square. So sigma suffix ST that is permissible stress in steel reinforcement for Fe4 and 5 grade of Then sigma suffix CBC that is permissible stress in concrete for M20 grade of concrete is 7 Newton per mm square. Then sigma suffix ST for HYST bar is uh, 230 Newton per mm square as per table 21 and 22 of IS456 2000. Then next we need to find the constant. We need to find three constants k, j and q where k is a neutral axis depth factor and j is Leverhulme factor and q is design coefficient. So formula for finding the neutral axis depth factor k is 1 divided by 1 plus sigma st divided by m into sigma suffix cbc. In this formula m is modular ratio. So modular ratio can be calculated by using the formula 280 divided by 3 into sigma suffix cbc where sigma suffix CBC for M20 grade of concrete is 7 Newton per mm square. So 280 divided by 3 into 7. So the value of modular ratio is 13.33. By substituting the value of sigma ST, M and sigma CBC in K, so the value of neutral axis depth factor is 0 0.289. The next one, Leverhulme factor. So the formula for finding the Leverhulme factor is 1 minus K divided by 3. We already calculated the value of K so that is 0 0.289 so substituting the value of k so the j the Leverhulme factor value is 0 0.904 then we need to find the next value that is a design coefficient that is capital Q so Q is equal to 0 0.5 sigma suffix CBC K into J by substituting the value of sigma suffix CBC K and J we get the value of Q as 0 0.914 then next we need to find the dimensions and as well as the area of tension reinforcement for the balanced section because as per our given data we need to find the dimension and as well as the AST value for the balanced section. So the moment of resistance for balanced section is QBD square where Q is equal to design coefficient we already found out the value of Q that is uh, 0 0.914 B breadth of the beam section the breadth of the beam section value is not given then we need to find the value of B also then D is effective depth but as per our given data B is effective depth divided by 2 so substitute B as D divided by 2 
then moment is 65 kilo newton meter we need to substitute moment value in terms of newton mm so we already know 1 kilo newton meter is 10 to the power 6 newton mm so 65 kilo newton meter is 65 into 10 to the power 6 newton mm so substitute the values in this formula we can get the value of effective depth so the effective depth value is 522.8 mm it going to round it off as 530 mm uh, as per our given data, breadth of the beam section is half the effective depth, so D divided by 2, so 530 divided by 2 is 265 mm, so the breadth of the beam section is 265 mm. The next overall depth of the section, so what is overall depth of the section? So effective depth plus effective cover means that is gives the overall depth of the section. We don't have a effective cover value, so let it assume effective cover as 40 mm. So overall depth capital D is 530 plus 40 is 570 mm. So overall dimension of the beam section is 265 mm by 570 mm. Then we need to find the area for reinforcement for the balance restriction. So formula for finding the area of the reinforcement that is area of attention reinforcement is equal to m divided by sigma st j into d. We already found out the value of a small d that is affected up we already have the value of a moment that is 65 into 10 to the power 6 newton mm then sigma suffix st value for fe 415 grade of steel is 230 newton per mm square the value of uh, lever arm factor is 0 0.904 so substituting all the values in this equation or in this formula the ast value is 589.84 mm square so this is the way to find the dimension of the beam section and as well as the area for tension reinforcement for beam section as per working stress method of design okay thank you